brothers that have mental health and I learned about Tent City through my brothers and one day he asked me to take him home and when I he took when he I took him home he was down at Tent City Bruce Vento I didn't understand how someone lived lived like that and I didn't understand that I never knew that it even existed he would come to work and he'd bring lots of meat and food home I thought maybe he just wanted to share with his friends but really what he was doing was feeding all the people in Tent City so he was cooking for them doing barbecues making sure everyone was okay so I thought to myself, he's my brother, and I, I love and I care for him so much. These people are someone's brothers, sons, uncles, and dad, and they, some people are out there that actually love them as much as I love my own brother. And with being homeless and being an addict in the Hmong community, you know, pe people don't acknowledge that. And a lot of people, they get rejected. So I, I thought about it, I said, you know what? I'm not here to judge, I'm just, gonna start feeding these people. How do you feel now coming to help people in need? Oh man, I feel so, so good. I know a lot of people here too. The guy that I hold hands, he just asked me, how, how you become sober, you know? I'm like, oh my goodness, you know me, we were smoking together back then. <laughs> to me, it's just like dreams and what I wanted in my life, in the future, you know?